short on manpower, but we were long on guts, and I damn sure right. Some cattle you have to drive, and some cattle you have to lead. They're kind of like football players. Some of them you lead, some of them you drive. They say the harder we played, the behinder we got. We'll just get after Miami tomorrow, like this old pony got after that spear. Well, we'll have a heck of a good ball game. There's a hell of a character searcher there, right, boy. All right, all right. Hadn't let a man reach and get it. Every man get a man, every good man get two. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, I feel like I've been run over by a truck, <laughs> but I feel real good. build this winning attitude off the field, the Oilers got together after practice for country music, card games, and congeniality. Here, friendships were formed between coaches and players, veterans and rookies, that would make the tough road ahead travel easier. Some of the most valuable lessons learned in San Angelo went deeper than simple X's and O's. Without a doubt, Bum's probably one of the finest coaches I've ever played for. He's probably one of the most honest people that you'd ever want to meet in your life. And he, you know, he likes to he likes to get together with his ball players. He likes to have fun. But you know, when we're out in the field, we're not out here that long, and he expects us to work. We got a game. Let's get ourselves ready. But, uh, he deals with players from an individual standpoint. You know, the game of football is a game of people, and and how he treat people as individuals, I think, is the strong suit. No one guy builds anything. I don't build this team. Our assistant coaches and our uh, offense and our defensive people, they're the ones that do it. I just happen to be the head coach. Players, it takes coaches, it takes fans, it takes uh, an owner like Bud Adams. It's a whole ball game! Four teams left today playing football, and we were one of the four. And I'm not going to let one ball game ruin a hell of a year. Not anybody in the world more proud of Houston and the Houston fans and the Houston Oilers football team than I am. <laughs>